Here's an excellent example of what a hip roof would look like, conventionally framed, 2 by 12 hips, 2 by 12 ridge, 2 by 10 rafters, um, shaped rafter tails. These are actually cut to be 2 by 6 rafters instead of the 2 by 10. They have a little notch down here so that you can use 2 by 8 fascia board, common to do something like this to rip the tails down. Uh, the building is 32 foot and 16 foot, so 16 foot wide, 32 foot long, give you an idea. And uh, these are jack rafters or fill rafters. Let's go ahead and zoom into the bottom here. A couple of rafters at the bottom. We call used to call these flyers and uh, or fill rafters, like I said. So a lot of times a flyer was something that was just kind of hanging there. Fascia board would help to support it. We have shaped blocks. These blocks are cut in an angle, same pitch here. And this uh, to scale is a six and 12 pitch. And I believe that's something like 24 degrees, 25 degrees, I'm not sure. And uh, you would cut the blocks at that angle to match the pitch, the hip here. And you can see right here where the rafter tail is about six inches and it comes up and then it is actually shaped cut in here so that uh, the so that you can put smaller fascia board if you had a 2 by 10 um, rafter and you didn't cut that you would end up with a 2 by 12 or a 2 by 10 2 by 10 fascia board might not look good the blocks go over the ceiling joist they notch over the ceiling joist ceiling joist uh, now in this particular example the rafters are spaced 24 inches on center 2 foot on center same thing with the ceiling joist the ceiling joist, if you're going to put a drywall ceiling or plaster ceiling on underneath it, attach it to the ceiling joist, they might need to be spaced or spanned 16 inches on center. Keep that in mind. The hips up here joining the ridge. These rafters, I'm not going to provide you with uh, how to build the ridge, just an example of how it's built. These rafters right here are usually the exact same rafter, and you can actually use it to find this point on the rafter or on the ridge. And I might make a video on that in the future, put a link here. Here is a collar tie. Collar ties are supposed to help with roof, roof uplift, any pressure that would come from the bottom over, and they also help um, to prevent the rafters from separating from the ridge also even though I don't, I don't see a lot of that mentioned with engineering, in engineering and uh, code books. Here's a block that you can cut and nail to the wall. This would be provide you with a area or something backing that you could attach the drywall or the plaster to for your ceiling. And of course the one in the corner would need to be angled. Here's the hip ceiling joist, one of the jack rafters. Here's another view of it from the inside, what it would look like. Nice square building. Go ahead and come up here. The collar ties are usually spaced 48 inches on center. Another view of the hips and how they intersect with the rafters. And that is it. Top view of the building. And that is a conventionally framed hip roof for a rectangular mm -hmm. building. And uh, don't forget to visit the website and check out some of the home edition. Check out our home edition page and that should be underneath the remodeling tab or in the remodeling section. Click on the home editions link or tab and uh, that will provide you with mm -hmm. a few ideas. I've already made one video. We'll be making some more on how you can attach a home addition or room addition to a building like this and how the roof would be used or how it would be um, designed to um, blend in and make everything look like it was meant to be. So anyway, that's it for the video. Don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button and leave any comments or questions in the comment area.